After unplugging the refrigerator, remove the light shield by squeezing down on the top and bottom and pull the shield free. Remove the two screws at the bottom of the freezer air tower and lift the tower up and out. Next, remove the two screws on the evaporator cover located on either side of the fan. You may need to bow the evaporator cover outward to clear the ice maker receptacle and the screws on the left side wall of the freezer. To completely remove the evaporator cover, disconnect the light socket connection. Note the location of the heater at the bottom of the evaporator coil. You could quickly and easily test the heater without ever removing the evaporator cover by using the 9-pin connector located on the back of the refrigerator. With your meter set for ohms, read between the solid pink and blue terminals, and on this model, you should read approximately 36 ohms as indicated on the schematic insert. To better understand the schematic diagram, note the highlights for the pink and blue wires that we just tested. Also note the pictorial for the defrost heater, and see where the pink and blue connectors are located on either side of the heater. Look at the schematic on your refrigerator for a better understanding of this test. If it is determined that the heater is bad, you will need to disconnect the heater wires on both the right and left side for removal. Then with your finger or a screwdriver, Press the small locking tabs located on the evaporator rearward to remove the heater. Note the groove on the heater assembly that fits into the evaporator side channels. Here is the location of the heat probe, which is discussed in a different video clip, as well as the defrost heater middle support. After unhooking and removing the heat probe, Unhook the middle support from the tubing of the evaporator while taking note of the insulator as well as the heater shield that need to be in place upon reinstallation of a new heater. Gently pull the heater slightly down on both sides of the evaporator to remove. Take care not to handle the glass with your bare hands upon reinstallation of the new heater.